It's eight in the morning in Amman, Jordan, and the medical rounds here in the unit for severely wounded Iraqi patients are already underway. The maxillofacial surgeon and his team have come to see Muna before her operation. We are planning to do uh, repositioning of the jaw bones that are fractured and uh, also planning to do bone graft for the malunion of the upper jaw. An hour later, Muna is the first patient to go into the operating room. It's her third operation here in Jordan. Yet more surgery to reconstruct her face. She was hit by shrapnel that exploded into her room while she was sleeping. All her hopes lie in this operation. She dreams of having a new face and being able to eat solid food. I'm due to the uh, wide uh, range of uh, improvised explosive devices that are being used inside Iran. Um, in this conflict or in this violence that is taking place inside Iraq, we are facing types of, of injuries that are completely not classical, that are very difficult to deal with, and the, the tissues have uh, so many changes that you cannot expect even the result after treatment, after surgical treatment. Sometimes you do, you go with the surgery, you do the classical work that you are used to, and then you face you face a lot of a lot of complications. This is due to the nature of the of the injury itself. Following a three-hour operation, Muna is one step closer to her jaw reconstruction, which is scheduled to take place in a few months' time. She might be able to eat solids again. The teams are both fighting the consequences of the explosive devices being used in this increasingly violent setting and struggling with the disorder and weaknesses of the Iraqi health system. This young boy was victim of an explosion at the start of the violence. He has been waiting for treatment for four years. In Iraq, the doctors wanted to amputate. Here in Jordan, he has had a skin graft. This patient uh, had underwent nine surgical procedures to put skin graft over the latter aspect of his day. But unfortunately, I didn't know what's the reason the graft failed. I saw him and decided to repeat the surgery and thanks God everything go well. If the healing process is successful and there's no further risk of infection, this young patient and his father will be taking the next flight home to Baghdad.